Chris, I know you're going to love it. After all these years in the apartment, a house would be wonderful for a change. Not that I don't love our apartment. It's just such a nice, big house. Oh, just look at this. Was I right? I told the moving men to just put everything down anywhere. And we would decide how to arrange it later. I told them my husband had wonderful taste. <laughs> just, just look across the room with your eyes squinted a little bit. You see the possibilities? <laughs> Oh, look, wait till you see this. This is from the city. It's solid oak. They told me that it was a dining set from the cafeteria at Ellis Island. <laughs> Imagine, Fish. Immigrants ate on this. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh. You said you'd give it a chance. I did. That's as much of a chance as I want to take. <laughs> But we told the social services department we'd take the job. Well, tell them we changed our mind. Tell them that we don't get along with children. They make us nervous. But that's not true. Bernice, didn't our own children make me nervous? <laughs> Here. Yeah. So what would I do with other people? And delinquent other people? Tell them to forget about it, Bernice. But they're counting on us. They rented this house for us. Okay, keep the house, but send back the kids. <laughs> what will you do when you have to retire? There are a lot of things I can do. I I'm only 62 years old. I've had 38 years' experience of the New York City Police Department. There's a lot of jobs out there for men like me. This is more than a job, Fish. Living with these children, taking care of them, that'll make us young again. I don't want to be young again. I was young once, and I wasn't good at it. <laughs> oh, Fish, it's them. Oh, oh, God. Please, Fish, try. Take it easy. Take it easy. Mr. Fish? Yeah? I got a shipment from the Children's Center. Sign here. I work for the city. I don't sign anything. <laughs> Somebody's got to sign. Bernice? Bernice! Thank you. How many do you have? I got five of them. Oh, God. <laughs> what are you going to do with them? I don't know. You got any ideas? I'd keep them away from regular people. <laughs> okay, let's go. Come on, move on. Get your hands off. Get your hands off. Relax, man. Relax. Come on, get in here. Just One day, you'll catch him again. Shut up. Oh, Mr. Fish. Mrs. Fish. Billy, how are you? Good. It's nice to see you again, Victor. Oh, welcome, everybody. Me and Jilly weren't too sure you guys were going to show up today. Likewise. Are we getting a TV? We have a 25-inch color set with a remote control. And someday, if you save your money, maybe you'll have one, too. <laughs> What's your name? Diane Polanski. But I'm going to change it. Like on TV, they say that John Wayne's real name is Marion. And like Dinah Shaw. Who oh, really looks good for her age. How do you do? Hey, kid, say hello to Mrs. Don't nobody mess with me, and I don't mess with you. <laughs> I'm Mrs. Fish. And if anybody does mess with me, they're gonna get whooped, and I am lying. Hey, kid, uh, say hello to Mrs. Hello, Mrs. Hi, my name is Mike Ferroni. I appreciate the opportunity. Hey, you're doing a great job here. So far. 
<laughs> How many times you been arrested? No more than any other underprivileged homeless kid. I'm a cop, you know. Yeah, I don't hold any grudges. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, everybody. Bernice, I'm here. Charlie, come in. Uh, Charlie, say hello to Charlie Harrison, Fish. Mr. Fish, this is a great pleasure. Are you one of them, or are you one of us? Well, Charlie is our associate house parent, Phil. He's 27, and he's studying for his doctorate in child psychology at NYU. You know, I can't tell you how excited I am about this opportunity to mold young minds, to shape and influence the components of a prospective adult. You understand? There's not a lot you can do for me anymore. <laughs> I understand. Good. <laughs> uh, Bernice, you're all excited about this, I can tell. I'm very excited. Yeah, me too, I really am. Oh, Charlie, this is Victor Kreutzer. Hey, man, pleased to meet you. Give me five. <laughs> <laughs> can I have the room in the bathroom? No. <laughs> I got an uncle who's a cop in Chicago, but he's in the slammer now. Who asked you? <laughs> Probably a suicide. I'll go bear in the backyard. Leave it alone. Okay. Now well, I'll call it Fred. Just like it's always been. <laughs> Where are you going? To work. Oh, no, you can't go, Fish. We need you to get things organized. You're such a good organizer. I need it there, Bernice. By now, the precinct is filled with, with, with thieves and murderers and perverts. <laughs> hey, hey, don't be like, you, hold hey, on. Don't separate. Yeah, 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 don't know what you're doing. People you can talk to. <laughs> Out of my chair. What are you, prejudice? Yeah, I don't like short punks. Come on, huh? Have a walk. Look, I was tired of sitting anyway. Horn Company, we can't all be perfect. <laughs> you uh, want your phones in or what? Come in. Uh, we want the downstairs phone on the wall over here uh, near the couch. Um, this couch is going to be uh, over here. The you say may be your own. Two kids. Pick one. Where's the basement? Oh, right through here. Look at that. We're back, everybody. And uh, I think it's time we all had a little discussion, okay? You know, years ago, people would contribute to the evening meal by tilling the soil and grinding the corn. What's he talking about? Well, we don't have a field, but we have a car. And in the car, we have a lot of groceries. So uh, all those who would like to contribute to the evening meal by bringing in the groceries, raise your hand. Everybody out to the field. Move. Cops, I don't give this place three days. I knew you could take charge. You haven't seen the kitchen yet. Denise, not in front of the children. <laughs> this is a kitchen? 
Oh, it, it'll look much better with curtains. I don't want to eat on a desk. <laughs> well, we'll get our own kitchen set in a few days. Our kitchen set stays in our apartment along with the bedroom set, the television set, and any other sets. Yes, you agreed. I didn't. You did. You made a commitment. You must honor your commitments. You made a commitment when you joined the police force. You made a commitment when you married me. I try to learn from my mistakes. <laughs> it's very lucky that I understand your sense of humor. What sense of humor? You see? There it is again. <laughs> Look at all the smoke. We could have a chug a contest. Anybody got any cigarettes, please? No chug a and no smoking. Anything. Wow, potato chips. Yes, Christ, a go for a long one. Oatmeal makes me nauseous. I'm allergic. Allergic to what? Green beans, spinach, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, yams. Look at these. Lamb chops. Lamb chops? I thought we should have something special the first day. Oh, yeah, I had them in a restaurant once. With those paper things that makes it okay to use your fingers. Uh, what do you call them? Panties. Bernie. <laughs> hey, Charlie, heads up. Hey, good arm, man. Don't throw the eggs. <laughs> Stop eating. They're just doing that out of a sense of insecurity. Let them suck their thumbs like normal children. <laughs> hey, where's my cottage cheese? Right here, Dad. You can call me Sergeant Fish. And only if it's absolutely necessary to speak to me at all. Can I have a blowing sauce for lunch? No. But I'm allergic to green beans, baby. I heard. <laughs> I want spaghetti. Tuna salad for me. Ash and eggs. Cheeseburger. Medium rare with grilled onions. How'd you like to have your buns toasted? Crisp. All right. All right. Now you'll all eat what Mrs. Fish makes for you. Oh, man, come on. And you'll love it. Everybody go to your rooms. Jeez, that's terrible. <laughs> now, wait a second. We can't go to our rooms. We ain't got any yet. Oh, all right. I, I was going to suggest we have a discussion about that. How many bedrooms are there for the kids? Two. I was going to suggest... Boys in one room, girls in the other. Right. I'm not rooming with him. What's the matter? You scared, baby? Don't mess with me. <laughs> I think your discussion is closed. You have to understand him. Oh, I do. It's ego need. Also, his digestion's not so good. <laughs> hey, what's this? Hey, you and mine! Hey! A fuzzy little doggy! Muhammad Ali has got a dog! I'll handle this, Phil. Go find yourself a nice, quiet spot. That's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> the one downstairs is broken. <laughs> but I call the best plumber in Brooklyn. Hey, Jilly! Oh, come on, baby. Come on, hey. Turn that doggy hey, oh, Even on the floor, you can't get it. Hey, Jilly, that's mine. Oh, it's all back. Come on, Jilly. Why don't you go and do that for us? Why don't you try to have a little fun? Don't yell at me, Victor Kreutzer. So he's got a dog he drags around. You got a picture of your mother, and you don't even know if it's your mother. You <laughs> try it. Hey, what are you doing in there? Come out of there. It's locked. And I ain't coming out till you get rid of that fat kid. <laughs> One of them is locked in the bathroom. It'll be all straightened out by the time you get home, Phil. <laughs> Lamb chops for dinner, Phil. If I'm not back by Tuesday, start without me. <laughs> Loomis, I want you to know I understand and appreciate everything you're feeling. 
And if you'll come out, we'll honestly confront the issue. Now, what do you say? I'll say, not off the job. Very good. That was honest. Hey, come out of there before I break down the door. Stop it, Victor. I want you to know I'm feeling really angry with you. <laughs> How are you doing? In theory, he should have been out by now. <laughs> Lomas, dear, it's Mrs. Fish. I'm leaving you a fresh sandwich. You haven't had anything to eat all day. What kind of sandwich? Ham and cheese. When he goes for the sandwich, I'll grab his hand. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Fish. Uh, Mr. Fish, can I get you anything? A new life. Hey, I bought a game of gin. Go away. Hey, I'll catch you later. Hello. You look tired. I've been busy. Take your hat and coat off. I'm glad you're home. This isn't my home. We were all worried about you. I stopped by at the Police Benevolent Association to see what kind of jobs they had. You have a job here, Phil. The kids all love you. Respect <laughs> you. They said they should have all kinds of interesting opportunities coming up in the next few months. Did you have anything to eat? I don't need to eat. I've gone straight to Hockburg. <laughs> okay, I think we're getting someplace. He's given me his demands. One, we don't have to get rid of the fat kid, Victor. And just make sure he doesn't hassle him for at least one month. Okay, two, he what doesn't is, what like- is he, What is he talking about? Loomis. You mean that kid's locked up in the bathroom again? Not exactly again. It's still. But, uh, I'm finally getting through to him. I think if we could just have a discussion. No more discussions. Phil, please wait. Hey, where are you going? We're in the middle of negotiations. I don't negotiate with hijackers. <laughs> this is Detective Fish. I'm coming up. What are you going to do? Shoot the lock. <laughs> You in there. We got you surrounded. Come out with your hands up and no false moves. I mean business. I want to speak to my prisoner. Alone. I'll make him something hot. I don't want the brutality. I'll try to restrain myself. I didn't come off for you anyway. I got sick of listening to that dude with the funny glasses. You can't spend the rest of your life in a bathroom? At least not mine. I hate this place. Me too. First chance I get, I'm splitting. Me too. I ain't gonna be pushed around no more. You know a lot about pushing around, huh? You know what a time clock is? What? Man is better off dead. A security guard in a blue uniform with a paper bag. Egg salad and powdered donuts at three o'clock in the morning. Thirty-eight years, they tell me I'm one of New York's finest. <laughs> All of a sudden, a few gray hairs and goodbye. I ain't never gonna be friends with none of them. They're all a bunch of turkeys. I agree. <laughs> and I'll tell you the truth. I'm not too crazy about you either. I'm getting kind of hungry. I bet she's a good cook. How much?
Give me five. Should have stayed in there six more weeks, man. Could have broken the Guinness Book of World Records. That's Guinness. Yeah? Hey, where's your doggy? Leave it in the bathroom? Tree! Tree! Stop it! Hey! Get back. Supposed to integrate into the neighborhood, right? Get in here. Everybody, get over here. I reheated your lamb chops, Loomis. You'll reheat it again. I have something to say. <laughs> You're all here on probation to see if you can act like human beings. Why I am here is none of your business. Whether I stay is anybody's guess. And if you want my opinion, I think our chances of making this thing work are about as good as Fred's down at the basement. <laughs> Meanwhile, no yelling and no fighting. And no locking in the bathroom. And remember, I'm a cop. Mr. Fish? Yeah? I hope you stay. Yeah, well, we'll give it a try. And if it doesn't work out? We'll try a little harder. All right, go on. Go, go. <laughs> Give me five. <laughs> Forget it. Are you comfortable? I'll never be comfortable again as long as I live. I'm sorry we couldn't spend our first night in our new home, in our own bed. I feel like I've enlisted in the Foreign Legion. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was very nice of you to agree to take the upper bunk and give me the lower. Don't mention it. As a matter of fact, don't mention anything. Maybe if, if there's no sound, I can lapse into a coma. <laughs> a good idea. Why don't you climb down here and we can share the lower bunk together? <laughs> I'd like to, Bernice, but I'm too tired to make the trip. <laughs> in the morning. Maybe. 